everybody, Melissa from Going My Own Pace here. I hope you are well. I want to talk today about what chiropractic care has done for my overall condition, including chronic pain. Now, it's been a bit of an exciting journey and a bit of an unexpected one because I actually tried chiropractic care many years ago, like at the very beginning of my journey when I was like 21 years old. And the regular kind of crack the back routine did not help. And of course, now I know it's because it was just flaring up my nervous system. Uh, so there was just no chance of it actually being helpful. But um, I have been seeing a chiropractor and she has been employing some gentle techniques and we've been talking a lot about my nervous system. And I wanna update you now that it's been eight months. So I've got a ginormous blog post write up for you with kind of all of the details of, of what it is and, and why and details and all of that, but I wanna give you a summary here uh, so that if you want to follow up with the blog post, you can, or if you just want the nitty gritty, I can give that to you now. So the moral of the story or the gist of this whole thing is that chiropractic care has actually improved my chronic pain. I have experienced debilitating pain in my neck and back for a very long time. Since I, I can remember at like 21 years old, trying to be, you know, to start working and do an office job and just being in excruciating pain. My neck has been a problem 24 seven for many, many years. Like it would impact everything. Every movement, I was aware of my neck because it was so tight and so sore and it would get so tight and so sore that it would cause severe headaches, like sometimes migrainous headaches. So that's been a big deal for a long time. And in the last few years, uh, since my pregnancies, I have had um, problems with my pelvis and my sacroiliac joints. Um, I have hypermobile joints. We don't have any kind of diagnosis yet, um, but the chiropractor says I'm definitely hypermobile uh, in these areas, and I definitely recognize that um, just in the way that my body moves. Uh, and I've had comments on videos as well, <laughs> people asking me if I am when they see my uh, yoga videos, um, the way my knees and my elbows go. Uh, so the chiropractor has made a massive difference for both of these things and it is like a holistic treatment but for me making a difference in those areas has made a big deal. So the absolute summary of it is that the chiropractor care has improved my neck pain more than anything ever has and so while I'm not normal or 100% I'm so much better than I was and it is just like I'm not spending all day every day trying in vain to manage it and I'm taking a lot less pain relief uh, and so that is a big win and then on the other hand they're helping manage my um, sacroiliac joint problems so um, by the end of last year uh, when I first went to the chiropractor, I was in so much pain that I could not sit down or lie down or do anything comfortably. It was like seven or eight out of 10 pain. And there was no reprieve. I couldn't figure out what was going on. They, um, the doctor put me on a strong anti-inflammatory, which didn't even cover the pain at all. Uh, and then put me for a referral to the rheumatologist. <clears throat> uh, and while I was waiting, um, I, things were kind of getting worse, right? I was not functioning. And for a bit of context, this was about four months post-op from my hysterectomy and endometriosis excision surgery. And so I was in a very vulnerable place, but someone told me that the chiropractor will do x-rays at intake to make sure there's nothing degenerative and nothing kind of going on, um, you know, that you need immediate treatment for medically. And so I thought, well, okay, I'll just go do the intake and see what happens. And so I did the intake and it has been so interesting, like out of this world interesting. Uh, so we found a lot of issues <clears throat> um, with my um, spine. So uh, there was so much pressure uh, on different parts of my spine that they had lost their curve. So my neck was basically straight, which is very interesting. And I'm not gonna delve us onto a tangent, but there is a blog post talking about <clears throat> uh, a practicing rheumatologist, Dr. Katz, who believes that um, having a straight neck should be a diagnostic marker for fibromyalgia. But that's a parallel and I'll provide the link for you in the blog post. Uh, but my neck was almost straight and my lumbar curve was not quite as it should be. Uh, and there are a couple of other issues. Um, and so she outlined a, a treatment plan and she, she said to me, I can see that your nervous system will not take anything big. So she said she would do gentle treatments and I went, okay, I, I can trust you. 
so we started treatment in October. Now, the thing about chiropractors is that they, um, they're quite passionate about the nervous system, which obviously is a wonderful thing for, um, for people with um, our conditions. And, um, but at the core of their work, they actually ensure the spine uh, is kind of in its correct place. And so they adjust the spine and that has flow on effects. Um, so they fix what they call the vertebral subluxations. Uh, that's what Dr. Heidi Harvick translates as a dysfunctional area in the spine that negatively affects health and well-being due to its influence on the nervous system. And that's from her book, The Reality Check, which is a really wonderful entry-level guide to understanding chiropractic care. So yes, chiropractic work has adjusted my subluxations, um, primarily and chronically, uh, in my neck and my pelvis and across my spine. Um, but this has helped in so many ways, like the flow-on effects are just massive. It's... I can't even begin to visualize how it all works. Um, so like you've got at the base level, it's helping my neck and my um, lower back. So my my joints are staying in place and a lot less pain, a lot less tension. The trigger points are almost non-existent. After how many years of prodding them and needling them and doing all the things, uh, this is actually what's making a difference. Um, so yeah, it's helped to alleviate that those pressure, um, that pressure that exists um, or has existed on my muscles. Uh, so it's really helping with that. My average pain levels, as I said, were kind of seven or eight out of 10 uh, in October, but now they're around four out of 10. And I have more awareness of what's happening. So I can get a sense of, okay, this is where the pain is originating from. This is what's happening. And so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, one time um, it was so bad. I put it out so badly that I knew I just needed to ask for um, a last minute appointment. Um, and so that that connecting the brain and body is really important because for a long time I had what I called this big ball of fibro. All I knew was fibromyalgia. I didn't have any other words. And so in, it all just was. Whereas the combination of my mindfulness and meditation practice and this chiropractic practice is that now my brain can differentiate what's going on in my body. And that is so useful because then you're not, you're not a ball of of pain you are okay this thing is in pain and I know that that is a structural issue that I need to go deal with right now or that is kind of a widespread nervous system pain and the, the smartest thing for me to do is to get some heat and do some yoga nidra uh, and then go from there so it really helps differentiate those different types of pain because it does get very complex when there are different types hanging around um, so it has really made a difference in that sense um, I do still experience flare-ups and I do still get headaches, uh, but they are rarely climbing that high and I don't end up as nauseous um, or kind of losing the day like I used to. Um, the sacroiliac joints still misalign, um, but the result is much less severe. Uh, my heart rate still has periods of going too high, uh, especially in the heat or when I get a viral infection, but actually my heart rate variability is generally good, and I feel like that's a representation of my nervous system um, just kind of regulating. So I think that my nervous system was dysregulated or is still dysregulated because of a mixture of um, physiological and um, psychological stresses. So for example, you know, until I had the surgery for the heavy painful periods, those traumatic, awful, heavy painful periods were bombarding my nervous system. So we took that away. Working through um, some issues I had with some kind of little t trauma and probably verging on big t trauma, but working through those issues takes away things bombarding the nervous system. Having a really good pain management plan, my if this then that plan, which I'll um, link to you as well because that's another important one to hear, again, removes the burden on the nervous system. Um, so it, it all goes together. It's not any one thing, it never is, um, but it all has starting to, starting to help kind of untie the dysregulation in the nervous system. Fatigue is still a major issue, um, so I'm just doing what I can to support my energy. Having to be really mindful, like I, I do that thing where I keep like overdoing it by accident and then I put myself back a bit. Um, so it is really tricky when you're in that stage of trying to gently increase your ability. Um, but yeah, I feel like I feel like we're heading in the right direction. Um, but the big exciting thing is that over six months of 
um, treatment, my cervical spine began to redevelop its curve. So I have a bit of a curve coming back into my neck. And that's really important, like I said, from Dr. Katz's work, um, that could be a diagnostic feature of fibromyalgia um, in their opinion uh, and they think that the lack of curve is caused by pressure from the super tight muscles um, and that the tightness of the muscles correlates with the intensity of your pain therefore I feel like the presence of a spinal curve is a solid indicator of improvement um, so at this point we're still doing weekly treatments because um, we don't want to plateau by going fortnightly too quickly um, and I'm doing all the things still, right? I'm still supporting things like mindfully increasing my movement, growing my strength with careful exercises, um, careful, uh, continuing my yoga nidra practice. Like I can't give that up anyway, um, fatigue wise, but it's super good for your nervous system um, and keeping my um, healthy human habits. Um, but yeah, you've got to really, it's all so complex, right? But for now, what I'm saying is that the chiropractic care, gentle chiropractic care, is actually a crucial important part of my holistic treatment plan so it is now one of the top you know so we talk about lotus naltrexone we talk about um, yoga nidra we talk about having a good pain management plan in place having your um, pacing plan in place or your fatigue management plan in place and then the next thing is chiropractic here that that has been so important it has to be on that foundational list now so i hope this um, summary helps uh, i hope it gives you a sense that yes gentle chiropractic care is a wonderful option to add to your holistic plans um, and i hope that just kind of demystified it a little bit um, but if you have any questions let me know uh, and do check out that write-up because i know that was a lot of information and i'll catch you again soon